Hey girl, welcome back. Girl, we about to get into a little tea, a little hot tea, a little juice, if you will, concerning Miss Rose Hanberry. Welcome her to the show. Hey Rose, how you doing? Girl, welcome to the show. Now, you know why you're here today because you was all over Prince William, I mean the media, okay, concerning Prince William and Princess of Wales, Miss Catherine, okay? They said that you guys mix and mingle, maybe even be swinging, okay, over there on the Royal Palace, okay, chandelier, if you will. Now, some reports say that you ain't got nothing to do with those folks, okay? You just a neighbor and just a friend of Miss Kate Middleton, which is fine, okay? If that's the case, then these cars should say that. But we want to get to know you a little bit better, okay? And see, what can you tell us about the disappearance of Miss Kate Middleton? Now, maybe she ain't disappeared when it comes to you. Maybe you know all the tea and all the juice. And we're hoping to squeeze a little bit of that from you today, if you will. So, first, we're going to get to know you a little bit, and then we're going to ask you some questions about Kate so thank you for coming in for the interview today girl okay because I know you didn't want to at first baby you tried to play it off and act like you received none of my emails or calls but baby I'm glad that you finally responded okay thank you well, let's go ahead and get into it divine angels give me the best cards from this deck to let us know who is the real miss rose hansberry okay now we heard that you was married okay now usually that would be enough to say girl no she's not me she's not messing with the uh the prince but we know that the royal family has a history of messing with people's wives. And they know about it. It's like that's a royal thing, okay, to share um, your highness with the with your highness, okay? You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, we know y'all do that. So don't go with him playing with our intelligence, girl, okay? We know y'all known for do that, for honor. It's great honors that y'all do that. That's y'all business, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just pull some cards real fast. Who is the real Rose Hansberry? Okay, we're gonna find out. Okay, I just need a few cards, girl. You ain't gotta tell us all your business, just give us a little bit, okay? Okay, I mean, so far, so good. So, Miss Rose Hansberry said that number one, she is a hero, okay? She a uh, heroine, okay? Now, girl, what you mean by that? Who you who you over there saving? Are you saving, you know, the princess? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Now, what you see with her, it says that she has a passion for a journey of personal empowerment. Okay. Now, I see you over there climbing a the mountain, baby. Okay. Now, my couple of my readings have said that y'all may have been, not, not maybe you, because you may have been on the trip, but it said Prince Harry, I'm sorry, Prince William, and... The princess may have went on a hike, okay, climbing some mountains. Mountains been showing up a lot in these readings, okay, and an accident happened where somebody was accidentally pushed off, aka Kate Middleton was pushed off the uh the ledge or the edge, baby, whichever one y'all want to say. Now, is this the same mountain, ma'am? Okay, we're just trying to find out you saying you the hero, okay, but maybe not. Let's see what the shallow attribute speaks about. So, what you don't see with her that she um. She all about escapism, and she has a false sense of heroism, okay? There we go, okay? She thinking she reaching, Catherine, give me your hand. I'll pull you up. And then, baby, next thing you know, we here. We here today investigating, okay? But she says she a priest as well, okay? She says she a good godly woman. Now, what you see with her, she says she facilitates spiritual commitments, and she serves as a channel of spiritual energy, what you don't see is that she violates the trust of your spiritual community. You seduced by your own spiritual role. Now, girl, not being seduced in the church. Baby, not seduced up in the uh, on the um, altar. They said she's known to violate the trust of her spiritual community or her community, period. Okay, she says she's a neighbor of Miss Catherine. But it's like, girl, have you violate that lady's family? Okay, have you snuck over to the royal palace? Okay, and slid into somebody's bedroom? Let me know, sis. But they said she is known to seduce. Okay. All right, girl. I'm going to do what you do. Okay, and she said she's an angel as well. Okay, so she said, don't start lying on her, honey. She's an angel, baby. What do you want for her? Okay, now what she shows you is that she's helping those in need with no expectation of return. But what you don't see is that she has... Um, been acting innocent or angelic to mislead others. 
she falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance so girl so you don't lie to the media hun that's what i'm picking up i'm picking up that girl that when people say that you over there cheating with prince william you're like no i am not i am an angel i am a spiritual woman of the community all along you falsifying information aka lying to the community girl okay now they said she's a magical child she's a child magical as well okay uh-uh girl don't try to disappear baby show back up okay no we don't take bathroom breaks or nothing like that smoke breaks we don't do nothing baby because you've been a pulled been a jumped in your little limo and pulled off baby no okay once you agree to be here baby you gotta be here for the little few little 30 minutes girl it ain't up 30 minutes out your day okay what, what else you doing Okay, I gave the kids some snacks, girl. Everybody good. Okay, you should be good. All right, let's let's move on. Now it's that the light attributes talk about that she's seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things, and she has the belief that everything is possible. But what you don't see is that she is a very much a pessimistic. She pessimistic. She has depression and a disbelief in miracles. She believing that the energy and actions are not required for growth. Okay, so she one of them people that sit back and collect, baby. She one of those sport children. Okay, she's a sport child. And girl, she says she wants the king, baby. Okay, or she says she the king. My bad. My bad, sis. But it says that she's enlightened, benevolent, a leadership. She's benefiting from those in your charge. Okay, so she says she's benefiting from the king. That's interesting, girl. Have we messed up the wrong, the wrong situation here? Is she not Prince William's mistress, but more of, of maybe King Charles? Let's see, girl. But what you don't see is she has excessive feelings of entitlement. She has rulership without restraint. Baby, are you the mistress of the cane? Okay, is that why Camilla over there hanging tight to um, Mr. Um, Mr. Charles, okay, she Charles talking about he laying up sick and he he tired he can't go to work and he told Camilla to go to work for him and Camilla went to work a couple of days and said no nah, Charles I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out with you beside the bed baby, okay Charles your lunch is ready okay Camilla said she's sticking up beside her man, is it because of you Miss um Rose, baby let me find out okay. But she, we got the delete, okay? Well, she shows you that she's del she delights in the arts without having to be a professional. She alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in her pursuits. Now, that's the light attribute. Now, the Chinese people said that you got their art on the wall, baby, and you done stole it. You, you and your family stole it. And they said that maybe you didn't steal it, but girl, they said they want you to return it back. Okay, but you all that time about you delights in the arts. Okay, so that's a problem right there off top, girl. And that's a whole nother matter, honey. But it seems like all your drama showing up here on the table. But what you don't see a, with her is that she's very pretension to much deeper knowledge than she actually possessed. Okay, so she said, girl, she had no knowledge of where these paint paintings come from. She said her great, great, great grandfather collected great paintings and great art. And she said she has no idea where it came from. Yeah, right, girl. They said you're known for lying, Miss uh, Rose. Okay, so don't come over here lying today. All right. And we want to know more about this king situation. What you over there doing with the king, baby? Okay, I know we're talking about Kate. But I'm just going to find out more about this king situation before we move on. Okay, so let's see, honey. What cards can tell me what's going on? Let's see what's going on with Miss Rose and this King card, okay? And then we're gonna ask about this Hero card too. Why is the he first? Let's ask about the Hero, okay? Let's okay. We'll stop at start at the beginning, okay? I want to know more about that because you claim to be a hero, and maybe not so much, okay? You probably went on that hiking trip with Prince Williams and Kate, and baby, only you and William came back. Miss Kate probably, girl, she at the bottom of the, of, of the freaking um, mountain. But we're going to find out. Now, why is the hero card here for Miss Rose Hunt Battery? What's going on here? All I need is one card, girl. Ooh, she being put on blast, baby. Okay, the media, everybody's calling her out. Look at how she dressed. And she's, she's so shocked. She can't believe what's going on. Yeah, that's you, Rose. That's you, sis. Okay, that says she's being publicly embarrassed. Her personal business is being exposed right now. Exposing secrets and she's being called out. Oh, girl, that's why. Okay, you're being called out, baby. I'm calling you out too because I want to know what y'all doing on that mountain. Okay, and where is Kate? We ain't seen Kate since y'all went hiking. 
Was you on a hiking trip with um, Mr. Williams? Let's find out. Let's see what cards would tell me that. Hmm. Let's see what these cards have to say. Okay. Was William, was Miss Rose on a hiking trip with Kate and William? Okay. When the accident happened, it was Miss Rose present. Okay. Was Miss Rose present on the hiking trip? That's a simple question, Miss Rose. We just want to know. We got patience here. Now, look at that's a royal card right there. Okay, it seemed like she was somewhere with the with the either with the queen or with the princess. And then look at the two people at the bottom looking. Now, who are they? And then who up there supposed to be security and got their back turned? Baby, it seemed like you trying to be the queen. Now, whether you're trying to take Camilla's place or are you trying to play, take Kate's place? But you're trying, to, you're trying to make it up the mountain, baby, and you're going to win at any cost. And you're being put on blast and called out for this. You're claiming you're a hero, baby. And then they say you got a false sense of heroism. Right, but they said you're being patient about it, though, because you said patience is a virtue. They said with patience, you will be the queen. Well, and I'm just so concerned they give that takes us right to this king card. Okay, let's find out who who is the king. Okay, now is she trying to be the king? I'm I'm sorry. Is she trying? Is this king card here represent King Charles, or is this card representing the future king, Prince Williams? Okay, why is the king card here? Cause she got a feeling of entitlement. And she said she want to benefit from those in charge. Now, we know King Charles is in charge right now. But eventually, his son would be, which is Prince William. Okay? Now, who is this king when it comes to Rose Hansberry? Okay, it's official, whoever that is. Okay, I wanted three cards, but I'll take this one. Oh, the king is a lover. Baby, not both of them. Now, we just know that the king is her lover. Okay. Yeah, you telling on yourself, sis, baby. You being put on blast. You putting yourself on blast right now. So, whoever this king is. Now, again, we know the king right now is King Charles. And she being patient right now. Is she is she patient enough to wait on Prince William to become king? Or is she over there seducing the king right now? Okay. We want to know. Okay, give me more about the king, okay, and this lover card, okay? We need to know, is it Prince Charles? I mean, I'm sorry, King Charles, or is it Prince William? The lovers, when it comes to Rosemary's lover, okay, the king. She's being very patient when it comes to this person. Can you tell us who it is? Okay, uh, girl, when stuff hit the floor, it just concerns me. It's like people trying to be sneaky in these readings, honey. Okay, that's that card. Give me one more, girl. Okay, since you threw one on the floor. Give me one more. Thank you, sis. Okay, it still ain't telling us, baby. She probably that doing both of them. Now, we got a message here. That's the first card that popped on the floor. There's some type of message here. Uh, some type of documentation. Either being sent or received. There's some type of correspondent. Okay, communication. We got the phone here. A letter. Some type of letter here. Okay, when it comes to the king and the lover with the privileged lady, honey, she said she don't care which one it is. She said she just want to be taken care of. The privileged ladies is somebody that's being either she wealthy, she has a father that's wealthy, she has a sugar daddy that's wealthy. Either way, go, she being taken care of. She is a kept lady. She ain't working hard for nothing. Okay, that could be Miss um, Rose again, followed by imprisonment. Okay. So, it's something, she being kept, like, in secret, okay, behind the prison walls, baby. Now, the prison, is like, again, you know, she being locked away, she being locked away, kept away with the lover's card, or did she lock one of the women away, baby? Girl, they won't tell us, honey. They won't tell us, is it the king? Is it the prince? Let's see what this deck has to say about this king card here. So she just she going after the king, and we like I said we already got the king right now. That and but it could be very well be Prince Williams, okay? Because he will eventually be the king. But do she got patience to wait on him, okay? Because it's a king that's there right now, that's available. 
that loves a, a young tenderoni baby he known for keeping you know his women behind lock lock and key okay privileged lady of lovers okay she being put on blast okay what is she being put on blast for okay when it comes to this hero and king okay and lovers card she being put on blast okay give me one more okay so the first card we got here she being put on blast about her either her history okay with the journal card it, sp it speaks about her history discoveries okay it's reading she reading something okay because we already got a message here and they probably that sending love letters my king my princess i love you and miss you so much when will i see you again okay why am i being kept in secret and behind closed doors okay and want to be free to love you freely okay i want to i want to be beside you i am tired of waiting when would be my turn to be the queen okay and it's like girl okay enough enough of the leather okay i'll send it baby i'll mail it off today next we got the key okay somebody somebody got the key to the door baby okay you see the lock there we need the key to be unlocked somebody the mouse sneaking in speaking to them now this seems like somebody's speaking to somebody that's being locked away this look like a masculine energy that's being locked away but again okay we're talking about roles right now now somebody got the key to unlock the door now this key speaks about a doorway a threshold destiny knowledge okay something being knowledgeable okay they unlocking the door opening up okay crossing the thresholds okay going going to a place where no man has gone before now, baby, a man done been there before now. Don't act like that, baby. Yeah, okay, your husband over there, and I'm sure you had some men before then. But, you know, let's focus. Okay? It speaks about an understanding. Okay? Ooh. Okay? A situationship, possibly. Being locked away, being unlocked. Ooh, concerning the black man, baby. The gentleman. Okay? We got a gentleman, baby. This speaks about masculine energy, a youthful partnership. Okay? This is a young man. Now this, okay, this could be the prince, okay? This could be the prince. Okay, dark. Like, to her, he tall, dark, and handsome. Now the prince is tall. The the king ain't that tall, okay? And he ain't that dark. He very pale. Now, is William dark? I guess he darker than his his, um, his daddy. So, that's now finally we got something that's saying that could be Prince William, baby. Or Prince Tyrone, baby. Is there a Prince Tyrone somewhere in the building? Okay. Prince Jermaine. Y'all let me know, baby. But let's move on. We got enough on that. Okay. So let's find out more about Kate. That's the reason why we're here. Okay. Because we'll be going in circles if we talk about this lady love life, honey. She just knows she wants to be the queen. Okay. So, girl, what is the energy around you and Kate Middleton? Because Kate is missing. And you said you're a hero, but then you got a false sense of being a hero. And you claim like you're an angel over there. And you've been a magically spoiled child all your life. Okay. Over there stealing people's art and said that you, you, you know, you, you love art and you love creating art. But, girl, you didn't create that art. The people said you took it away from their people. Okay. And then you over there trying to be with the, be with the king. And it's like you don't care which one, but you're going to be patient and wait for William, okay, or Prince Tyrone. You over there waiting on them, okay. So you're going to unlock the door eventually. You want one of them to unlock the door and unlock this relationship to your destiny. I ain't mad at you, sis, but you're being put on blast right now, they say, okay. Being put on blast, sis. But let's find out why you're here, okay, because we're talking about Kate Millicent, honey. So... What is the energy with you and Kate Millicent, honey? What's going on? Okay, what do you know about her disappearance or her whereabouts? Okay, did you have anything to do with it, girl? We're not going to let you kn knock another card on the floor, girl, because I'm not. Okay, okay, you speaking. Thank you, sis. Thank you, sister. I appreciate you speaking. Okay, she says she is a witness. Okay. She is, she bear witness to what happened to Kate. I knew you was there. Okay. Ma'am, I knew you was there. This looked like you. Do this not look like her? Girl. Okay, so it's, it's saying she she know to know 
personal evidence and she going to possibly speak out. Okay, if they don't hurry up and give her the crown, baby, she's probably going to be speaking out soon. Okay, but she said she do know what happened to Kate. She was a witness there. She was an eyewitness. There you go. There you go, honey. What else you know, girl? She said she was there free willing. Okay, now who crown is that, Miss uh, Rose, you got on your head? Okay, because I know you ain't over there trying on Prince, I mean, Queen Elizabeth crown. Okay, but she said she is. She said, you know, her head too big for it right now, but she eventually will grow into it. Or it will, she'll get a resize for her. But it speaks about sovereignty, independence, and she's such a free spirit. Babe, she's down for whatever over there. Free willingly, honey. You ain't got to even ask her twice. Okay, sis. But she also knew that death would come when it comes to Kate. Okay. So you want to knock Kate crown off her head and put it on your head. Okay. And you did it for free will, baby. Because you, you again, you want to have some type of, um, you're a free spirit. You said you better. But it says death would come here. It speaks about mortal, fragile, finite okay it's now again something has been broken here okay somebody heart has been broken something in somebody's bloodstream okay somebody got a base honey i don't know if they're gonna slip, slip something in the princess drink but it said that death will come honey they've been climbing mountains baby they had planned this out and she knows she bear witness she was there okay because she wanted to seduce somebody baby good love and body rocking all night long baby she said seduction okay it speaks like it speaks about an allure okay she's gonna lure somebody in her bedroom that's a meeting in her bedroom honey she has some desires it's the second time her desires have been mentioned in this reading that's important to her and she'll do some manipulation if she had to to get it and you see the blood on the wall in the bedroom baby Baby, they doing a lot of freak outs over there in the royal family, honey. I can't even keep up. It's like everybody participating. It's almost like that's something you do as as an after school special. Like it's just something that you do after school activity with the gentleman that she in love with. Okay. Now she said she don't. She she never said she said that she wasn't in love. She said he's a lover. Okay. She know what to do to get the crown on her head. Okay, my bad, sis. I ain't gonna put no words in your mouth. Okay, now girl, we need to figure out what do you know? Okay, where did you bear witness to? Because we see that you're a witness. Now, be, let's see. What can we find out? Okay, what did you bear witness to, Miss uh, Rose? Okay, you say you're a witness and you got some per personal evidence and you know what happened to Kate. What do you need to know? What do we need to know about that witness card here, girl? Okay, so the two cards that came out is uh, honey, it, the house. Now, did this occur in the house, behind the house, baby, in the royal house? But this is a big fancy house, baby, with some official buildings in behind, baby, and the clouds on the on the door. I mean, sorry, clouds in the sky. It's a beautiful sky, though. Oh, girl, not the main female in reverse, baby. Girl, the main female that been knocked on her head. And the main female, now, this is Rose reading. She could be the main female, but we are talking about Kate. That would make Kate the main female. So it seems like she bear witness to what went on in the royal palace when it came to Kate. She knew, okay? She said, and she can speak on it, okay, if she wants, if, if they don't hurry up and give her the crown, okay? If they don't free willingly hand her the crown, she will speak about the death. That will come from Kate for Kate. Okay. Now, now we need to know more about the death will come. Okay. What do we need to know about this death will come situation? Because a lot of people knew that death would come when it came to Kate. So Kate, Kate's still sticking around. It's like, girl, I told you to catch that bus with Megan now when they left. But you were too busy trying to beef with Megan for no reason. Okay, give me more about this death will come, girl. What's going on? With this death will come when it comes to Kate. What do you know, sis? Help us help us help you. Okay. Or help us help Kate, girl, because you know you trying to get into the uh house fast, okay? First thing, oh girl, the transition. That keep on coming out. Everybody knew that she was about to transition. It's almost like everybody know that she transitioning over from earth to spirit. That it was final for her. That's something that fragile that happened, a fragile break of 
fragile ball, fall. I just, I, I'm almost seeing now that this fall consists of a broken neck, okay? Something vital that was broken, okay? It says you have all of the inner resources you need to cross whatever bridge arise on your path. Remember, okay, again, there go that path. Okay, it could have been a bridge. Like I said, it could have been the Great Wall of China. It's something that happened at high elevation. Okay, and somebody made a fall, baby, and broke something. Broke a neck, broke a bone, broke something. Back, that was very fragile. And that death would come, cause a transition here. You see that person laying there? Okay, what else you know, girl, about the death would come? She said, enough. She said, there was some shouting, some screaming, maybe. She said, you were born enough. Oh, so it's back to her. She said that she was born enough. Well, if you were born enough, why he didn't choose you first? Okay, so this card is saying that Kate was born enough. Okay, because he chose her free willingly. I'm, I'm just so confused that if he, if like, just like his daddy, if you wanted Camilla, why didn't you choose her first? But the reason why King Charles didn't choose Camilla, because Camilla went and got married. And he begged her not to get married. And she went ahead and got married anyway while he was in the military. So when he came back and saw she was mar married, he continued to just go ahead and, you know, sneak over her house and sneak her over to his mama house. And they kept on doing what they do. And then he went on to marry Diana. But Charles could not find nobody that wanted to marry him for real because a lot of people already had titles. And they was happy with their titles. Nobody really wanted the title of the queen or the princess to be his wife. It's like that was that is not a desired a title when it comes to the other women. The other women was okay with their titles. But when it comes to so I guess that's the same situation with this one. Kate Middleton seemed like her family probably could have been pushing her to get that title. But when it came to women originally wanting that title, it's almost like they don't want it at first. But then when he bears his children whatever this with the so-called beautiful woman, then he is almost like something happens to that beautiful woman, just like Princess Diana. And then he go and marry the woman, you know, afterwards. And it seems like that woman afterwards just get to, you know, have all the royal status and the jewels and stuff like that. She ain't got to bear his kid. She, it, she'd probably be okay with him cheating because nine times ten, they was the mistress before. So they don't care. So it seems like they get the benefits without having to risk their life and bring children into this earth even though they have children with other people i don't understand why they i think it, it must be a thing with somebody having children with the king like he he has the right to have children with you and then probably get rid of you afterwards okay but they said enough whoever this is was born enough okay so we got this transition here and this person right here is being enough and then there's some false beliefs here False beliefs, okay, the way you see things is as once the untruth, okay, in other words, once the, the untruth that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways that we can release the false limitations they define us to. So it seems like she's being defined to something, okay? And it's almost like, I don't know if she wasn't worthy to be the queen at first, just like they said Camilla wasn't. See, it's almost like history is repeating itself when it comes to this royal family. It's like they constantly have the same repeat. Okay, because uh, it seemed like the same kind of story was even with Queen Elizabeth. When Queen Elizabeth uh, became queen, because you know, I think there was no brother or something like that that was able to take the position. She took the position. He gave it to her. And she, her husband, Prince Philip's, or... Uh, whatever he is, I guess he King Phillips. He can't, is he? But her husband Phillips, which is Charles' daddy, didn't even have a kingdom. So he was a king without a kingdom. He needed her kingdom. So it's almost like Queen Elizabeth was a pick me. She, you know, she got with him, which I don't know why she chose Philip. But then again, she chose him, and he came in. He didn't even have a kingdom. He didn't even have you know money like she had. Okay, so it just seemed like they have a history, a lineage of, you know, how they choose their husbands and wife. It's it's non-traditional, you know, instead of the typical way of how they're supposed to do it. But that's a false belief here when it came to Rose and Kate's situation. There's some untruth that wasn't has not been told. And they said once you really sit down and figure out what's the truth is, then maybe you can start, you know, 
developing some type of morals, baby, in other words. Because something's going to be illuminated here about false beliefs here when it comes to her and and Prince, Princess uh, Kate. And then we got circles, honey. She running circles around Kate, probably in Kate's circle to learn stuff about Kate, probably to even learn the role of Kate. It says clarity begins at the eye of the storm, period. So if we looking for the truth, baby, because it's going to be a lot of false stuff that comes out about her. Uh, I don't think she will speak the so-called truth. Okay, she's going to hide the truth because she's known to do that from the cards that we pulled at first. But it said the truth lies in the eye of the storm, which that's a storm that's going on that's brewing over there in the royal palace. We got to get to the eye of it to learn the truth. So let's see if we can get to the eye of it real fast, real quick. Okay, now what is the truth in the middle of the storm here when it comes to circles? Circle of friends, circle of females around this one woman that's on a royal horse, on her white horse. We got a bunch of women that's surrounding her. Now what is the truth? Okay, what is the clarity in the middle of the storm when it comes to Rose Hansberry and Princess of Wales? Okay, Catherine. What do we need to know? What is the truth? Oh, girl. The first thing we got, the truth is that's in the eye of the storm is the relationships. Now, is that the relationship between her and Catherine or the relationship she has with the, the potential king, the future king, Prince William? Okay. It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay. So then there you go. She probably was attracted to the relationship when it came to Kate because she tried to serve her higher good, aka get into the kingdom, get next to the king. So it seemed like she could have befriended her just to do that. Okay. You know, get in touch, baby. Okay, let's touch it. Let's reach out and touch each other, baby. Next it speaks about forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So there's some type of resentment that she could have had also when it came to Kate. And she know if she want to be loved, she want to be the queen, she got to unblock that. She got to forgive, okay? Whether that's forgiving herself for what she did, for feeling like she wasn't enough, or forgiving what she has done to Kate. Okay? Followed by doubts. Okay, there's some doubt here. It says that I release the need to know all the answers. Mm. So there's a lot of doubt here when it comes to Rose and Kate's relationship. Okay. They said we're looking for clarity that's in the eye of the storm. There's a lot of doubt here when it comes to the relationship that she has. Okay. And forgiving and forgiveness. Followed by abundance, baby. She said that's the one thing she's not doubtful of. She, it speaks about abundance when it comes to her stability. It says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Yeah, baby. She, she the the truth is that she okay. There was some doubts here whether she was enough to be the queen. Okay, and she said, baby, regardless of what you say about me, I can manifest what I want and how I want it in this physical reality and create abundance for me. Okay, period. I give you kudos on that. But it speaks about you was blocking some your blessings. You were blocking love. Okay, because you had a lot of resentments. Okay. When probably when it came to Kate because of the relationship she had with the prince but you said that you can attract people who serve your high good okay and create that abundance for you and it seemed like you have done that girl so that's the truth that's in the eye of the storm baby the storm all started out about Rose Hansberry and her possible relationship mistress affair with the prince okay because she wants to be part of the kingdom she wanted to be up there with the king now whether or not she could get in with the daddy or not, probably not, okay? But she decided she had patience to go ahead and wait on the prince because she wants to be a kept woman. She wants to be kept, but it seemed like her personal business got exposed out there and put out there, and then she couldn't put on this persona that she's an angel, that she's a hero anymore, okay? That she's a good friend of Kate because she's not. She was not. She only came became part of her circle because she was trying to manifest her husband, her life, she wanted to be Kate, if if you will. So she came in seducing people, baby. She came in uh, pretending, okay? And then seemed like she went on this trip with them, okay? 
and she was a witness to what happened to Kate. And she says she do know that death will come for Kate and that she is transitioning. Kate is on her way out the door and she says she on her way in. Soon the door is going to be unlocked for her to enter the castle. Because she's been manifesting this the whole time. And she is the one creating the storm. Okay. And we just got into the storm and saw what was the whole uh, reason for this storm. And it's because of this relationship. Okay. And even though Kate, Kate probably had doubted this relationship. Okay. But. And it's almost like Kate didn't need to know all the answers. Her intuition was telling her what she needed to know. Okay. And all the people lying around her, different type of false beliefs, false narratives when it came to the main female. Okay. And the lover relationship that she had with a girl, Prince Tyrone, AKA Prince William. And all of this came out just because she wanted what she had. She wanted this lady royal life, okay? And she wanted a relationship here. She started off with a relationship with the main female just so she can get to the center of things, which is to that masculine energy. And who is that masculine energy, baby? That's the cane, okay? So, y'all, and, and girl, if you don't know, she just wanted to be kept. She wanted to be a kept lady. She already is that kept lady, but she wanted to come out, baby. Okay, she wanted him to unlock the door, unlock the door, unlock the cell, and let her in, okay, to the kingdom. But she just got to wait for, you know, she got to wait for the transition to happen, okay? And death got to come first for that transition to happen, girl. And she is definitely watching, if you if you will. So, girl, that's going to be the reading for Rose Hand Battery. Okay, we just got to the eye of the storm, and she is the storm that we watching. Okay, look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. So yeah, we just got to the to the center of the eye of the storm. We see what's really going on here. We just figured it out, and that's it. Okay, but catch me on the next reading, girl. Now, first before I do that, you know we gotta always check on the update on Kate. Okay, let's see what's the update on Kate. What's the update on Kate's transition, okay? Or whatever the energy behind Kate when it comes to Rose Hansberry. What does she know about Kate? Okay. So, so far, she said Kate is on the island, baby. An island of one with the solitude card. There's storms around this island. There ain't no beautiful tropical island. Look, we got that uh, purple purple flower tree in the middle so Kate is by herself wherever she is okay she in the place of one a solitude is she buried on the island is she re receiving healing on the island okay she's by herself in solitude okay waiting for the generations the ancestors to come pick her up and take her home baby okay and this is generations of women that's probably went through this honey so we got the ancestral card. Y'all, it ain't looking good. The energy around Kate don't be looking good when these people are speaking, honey. It's like, and it's like everybody know. From her family, from Kate's family to the royal family. Everybody know. Now, whether everybody is 100% in on what happened to her initially, but it seemed like everybody coming together to kind of cover it up, clean it up, and so that they can, you know, distribute out the pentacles and they can move on. Okay? So that's going to be the reading for... Rose Hansberry and Kate Milliton relationship and Rose involvement and the status of Kate. Okay. Catch me on the next reading. I'll talk to you later. Bye.